No wonder why these girls act like they do. Uh, it was either one of them girls' uncle was on someone's live acting up and saying that she deserved being unalived. No, she did not. No wonder why <clears throat> these girls hurt an individual because one of their uncles was acting up and showing his butt off. But what I'm trying to understand is that someone is saying that this is one of the girls' uncle. Right here, one of the four that was in these comments. Being rude, being so mean and cruel towards the Wyatt family. I caught it and I seen it. He kept laughing. He kept saying like he's getting mad because one of his nieces are getting called out. So one of the uncles are acting up because people are speaking up for this mother. And this is real cute. Why one of these girls did what they did. Look how their uncle is acting on that live. That's why. He's mad because one of his nieces right here. He's not liking people calling them out. Or their family. No, she did not deserve what happened towards her. These girls and their parents will take responsibility for what they do and yeah he started threatening because others are starting to speak up so a sense of what happened to this woman's mother now this uncle is going around and threatening everybody who speaks upon what happened to Aubrey one of these girls' uncle one of their nieces now, their family is starting to act up on everybody and anybody. That's what's going on right now. Their uncles, their families are starting to attack people. But their families need to take accountability and needs to take self-responsibility. They will be held accountable because look how this uncle is acting. He's making fun of a girl who is not here anymore. You don't have a right to do that. Leave these people at peace. Aubrey was bullied by these four girls. One of their uncles are showing their butts off right now on someone's live. Because the person kept saying, you all want to get knocked out? So the person was threatening everybody and anybody because there are people speaking up for Aubrey's mom. This is the person you got to look out for. You really got to pay attention to the comments whenever you do a live. You will know if it's one of these girls' family members. It doesn't matter if it's their mom, dad, uncle, grandpa, grandma. You don't know. But you got to pay attention to the comments because I confronted that person and I said, what, are you one of the girls' family member who unalived someone? This person started to get mad and then there was more family members of theirs popping up. Threatening to want to box people, threatening to want to fight others. Others are speaking up because they draw an attention to themselves. This is what their children have caused. Others are not going to sit back and let Aubrey's mom suffer like this. These kids wanted the attention that they wanted. It got everybody's attention. And then now their uncles are getting mad because their nieces are getting bashed. And then maybe they should have stopped it. It was going on for, like, I was paying attention to this live, but I was also paying attention to the comment section. And that's one of her uncles. And someone confirmed that person that kept being rude 
always putting up clown signs and trying to act up is because it was one of her uncles right here one of the four they're getting mad you cannot come after everybody and anybody who is speaking up for Aubrey's mom. You are not going to silence everybody and everybody. And this is the most sickest comment I've seen why I called out this person. Was because he said she deserved it. Like, why are you crying about it? That's a person that shows no, no compassion. This is, this is why these girls did what they did because their family members are narcissistic they have no heart no compassion to so whatever they've done their family members just showed their butts off to why these girls act like the way that they do and pretty much i guess aubrey was bullied because they thought she was prettier than them which Aubrey should have never been bullied because of looks. That's bias right there. And then I guess I didn't realize the more people I'm listening to, this has been going on for six months. And uncles and their family encouraged this to go on. And I guess I didn't really pay attention. I guess one of these girls' is dad or somebody was a principal who didn't want to do anything about it. They should have been expelled. It should have went by the book. And this judge needs to understand in Mississippi that what you're doing is not okay. That's going to turn into a riot. You got other parents out there that will speak upon this bullying that needs to stop. And then plus, if these four girls' family members are showing their butts off, no wonder why these girls act like the way that they do. It's because they're learning this. Because these girls are taught, oh, it's okay what you do. They're showing no compassion. You need to leave someone alone. You need to leave people alone. And their family members are showing their butts off. On certain lives right now it's because they're getting mad because their families and their parents and their families are being confronted you don't really have a right to be upset at nobody for speaking up for Aubrey Wyatt you do not have the right to be upset you have no right to be coming at people for speaking up of what these girls have done they wanted it to be known it draw attention. Just accept it for what it is. Just accept it that these girls have messed up. Admit it that your family messed up. Just admit it. But stop going after everybody and anybody just because they're speaking up. They have been paying attention. Certain people have been listening to this. They've been watching comments. And they know eventually... One of their family members, or a lot of them, are going to start acting up. And it's caught right here. Someone confirmed it was one of her uncles. But somebody said one of them's locked up. So I'm very confused at this too. So, either one. Is this person in a jail cell and arguing with everybody and anybody and threatening knowing he's already in jail? Or two, how many uncles are involved? It's a very good question. But they need to leave Aubrey Wyatt's family alone. People are going to speak up. Parents are going to talk. They do not care about what they say. People have kids. People are parents. You're going to get that one parent who's not going to care and just fly. That's these kids' consequences their family's consequences because they brought conflict and heartache to someone who did not deserve it. This is sad. No wonder why these girls act the way that they do. It's pitiful and it's sad. Justice for Aubrey White.